hey 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 welcome back to my channel it's your girl Aiden Devaney and on this channel we do what that's right no ma'am we do beauty product reviews beauty DIY and beauty tech reviews and today I have something very interesting for you so stay tuned Now, I'm normally not into products like this because I just feel like as a black woman, they never work. And also, I just feel like they just don't work. But I'm actually presently surprised by this product. I've worn it a couple times now and people have generally had good things to say about it. People are just like, I don't know what's, what's up with your face, but something's different. That to me speaks volumes about a product and I was very, very surprised. I actually like Tula, so I'm not surprised by the quality of Tula. I'm very surprised by a product that's normally not geared towards women of color actually working for women of color, so that's a plus. I do have to disclose in full transparency that I have already recorded this video. This video was one of the videos that was lost in the 2020 February data loss tragedy. It still hurts. So instead of lie to you and act like I haven't already done this, I have. I'm not gonna lie to you about it because I have. Catch me outside, how about that? Here's the packaging. It's their usual cute packaging with some holographic detail on the probiotic skincare part. Super cute. I'm super excited to try this. It comes with Tula's normal promise of no phthalates, no sodium lauryl sulfates, no parabens, all that good stuff. But I wouldn't imagine that this would have, you know, sodium lauryl sulfate because it's not a cleansing product. It has no mineral oil um, and no formaldehyde releasing agents. So they probably use a completely formaldehyde donor free uh, preservative, which if that's the type of thing that you're looking for in your skincare or any of your care products, then that's this is for you. But they also say that they're cruelty free. I don't know how they're cruelty free when um, one of the ingredients is carmine. If you don't know what carmine is, it's actually a red dye pigment that is basically from the crushing of these red beetles. Um, so I don't know how they're claiming cruelty free. They even have the little bunny right there. Um, so that's interesting. I would love to see what Tula has to say about that. but. I'm not the vegan police or cruelty-free police, so just pointing it out to you. <laughs> this product also contains caffeine and rosehip oil. Caffeine and rosehip are two um, antioxidants. Caffeine is supposed to have like this great grand effect on your skin. From other products that I've used with caffeine, I haven't noticed a huge difference, but rosehip oil being a pretty powerful um, antioxidant, I'm excited to see what that has to offer and what that brings to this product. It also has blueberry fruit extract, which is another big antioxidant. So again, can't wait to see what that does. Can never have too many antioxidants. And then it just has a bunch of like a crap ton of, you know, humectants, things that bring moisture to the skin. So I'm kind of having high hopes for it and um, for it to do, you know, some cooling things some brightening things, you know, give me a little extra glow, a little extra pop, 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 pop. You know what I'm saying? The product comes just like this in this cute little like stick form. I love, Tula always has like the best packaging. Oh, okay, so you just, it's just a pull top and then I guess this protects the actual product. Okay. It comes in like this little stick form, like a stick conditioner or stick foundation. Kind of cool. I'm digging it. So the instructions say to use it underneath your eyes and or around the eye area, like so, or even up to here. It even says you can do it up there. For a instant cooling and rose glow, you can use it under or over your makeup as needed throughout the day for an instant pick me up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it on one side of my face with no with um underneath my makeup and then I'm gonna put it on top of my makeup on the other side of my face. And that's how we're gonna kinda gauge to see how this works. I'll wear it around, I'll do like a wear test, see how it works, and then I'll report back to you later. 
So let's get it. This is my right eye I'm using for the under eye test. And honestly, as soon as I put it on my skin, it feels so cool. It feels so soothing. Um, I don't know if you can notice, but I have kind of like dark under eyes, kind of like dark circles under my eyes. So this feels fantastic. Um, like just like the cooling effect. And I'm sure you could probably like even put this in the freezer and like use it during like the summer. Ooh. I look at the full so good. So I'm gonna put it up here. It's because it says that you can put it up here too. All right. So what I guess that this product is kind of doing is the product itself is cool. It's cool to the touch. Probably because the ingredients that they use to make it like that. Well, obviously. But then I also noticed in the ingredient list that there's some titanium dioxide and like some mica pigments. So just pigment, these are like pigments that add like a shimmer effect without like being like too like glittery. It's almost like a shimmer. I can't say I notice a significant difference with this product on my face versus no product on my face or just using like just my regular like lotion and skincare like my, lo my lotion and sunscreen, that's what's on this side, because I put that on my entire face at the start of this video. Um, and then this is the side that has the Tula product. Actually, in the camera, I can see it. I can see the difference in camera. Like, this side is not as, like, dewy and glowy, and then this side is, like, bam! <laughs> um, so, okay, I'm kind of seeing it. It's really creepy. Like, it literally, it feels like cool. It's very cooling. It feels like I'm just putting like water on my face. It feels really nice actually. I will give that to Tula. It feels great. And I'm just kind of like like melting it into the skin. It doesn't say to do this, but I'm doing it because I kind of noticed like where that little, where this part was, it creates like a little lip on the product. And so with me like dragging it on my skin like some of the products like breaking off of the stick so that's why i'm doing that what do you guys think you see a difference i don't know we'll see so i'm gonna put it underneath my makeup and see what what happens with that and then it just like you just bloop, and then oops and then bloop, and then put it away in your bag and that's it. I'd be interested to see what it looks like and how it does underneath makeup too. So let's do that. While I do this, if you guys are liking what you're seeing so far, why don't you give this channel a like, a subscribe, and then hit that bell notification so you never miss a video upload. I mean, I'm not saying you have to, but it'd be nice. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of interesting posts. A lot of interesting videos, you know? So tell me what you think. The side with Tula, the side with no Tula. The side with Tula, the side with no Tula. I think it looks great, wow. I'm actually kind of impressed. I was kind of skeptical on if it was going to work, especially on people of color, because it's it looked like such a light product. And I was like, oh, is it gonna leave pigment behind? Like, is it gonna make me look ashy? But so far, I'm not seeing any ash. I'm just seeing glow. All right, so this is what my face looks powdered. I'm gonna put the Tula product, the Tula uh, Rose Glow, and get it on this side now, on top of my makeup. And the product is still cold. Like, that is so crazy. How it's still so cold. And there's lots of like humectants and stuff like that. So it is drawing moisture. And it has a, a certain like bacterial, like probiotic that's supposed to help lock moisture in. Under makeup, on top of makeup. It's kind of fierce, right? I like it. Mm. Okay, Tula. I see you, girl. I'm not hating it. So far I love it. I definitely do see a difference. 
especially on top of my makeup. It actually makes my makeup look like more like smooth in that area. It's really nice. And I don't think there's any like silicones in this product. It's just all like moisturizers and oils and stuff like that. Like no silicones. Very interesting. And I will say without a doubt, you definitely are gonna have to reapply this product throughout the day to replenish the effect. I don't know what it is about the effect, but it kind of like diminishes after a while. If that's for lack of a better word, like it just goes away. Um, I will say that when I first gets put on, it looks amazing. And I actually got several compliments the day I wore it. People were like, oh my God, that, that looks really good. Like I was wondering what, what you did differently to your face like I couldn't I couldn't tell um but no that looks great so I get lots of compliments with it on under makeup I feel like the effect is less pronounced but over like with no makeup on at all and maybe even when you put it over top of your makeup it looks pretty legit I will say it looks really good but you have to reapply at some point even the instructions say you have to reapply it's not like an all-day effect which would be nice if it were. This is the eye that I just did with the product on, and this is the eye that doesn't have the product on. Looking at the monitor, you could definitely see, I can definitely see a difference. For bare face days, like when you're just like wanting to go to pick up your kids from soccer practice, or you're just going to the grocery store, or you're just going to work, and all you have want to have on is like some lotion, some sunscreen, and this, I mean, you're not, you're not gonna be hurting. It looks great, it makes your eyes look awake. And you guys saw my eyes at the beginning of this video. It looks like I haven't slept in like six weeks. It really does, it just brightens up your whole face because the eyes are the window to the soul. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely recommend it. Um, it's definitely worth its the price. I forgot what I actually paid for it, but if you look down in the description below, you'll see the price. I want to say it's in the realm of like $32, a little bit overpriced for me, I'm not going to lie, but I mean, you get about, what is it, 0.35 ounces or 10 grams of product and a little bit goes a long way. You get a lot of product. You don't have to use much and Tula is an expensive brand anyway, so you know that you're going to be spending when it comes to Tula. Focus, there it goes. You know you're gonna be spending when it comes to Tula regardless. I mean, one of their moisturizers costs like 40 bucks. So, I mean, are there alternatives to this product? Of course. Do I know what those alternatives are? No, because like I said in the beginning, I didn't think black girls could use a product like this. I didn't think, even know that this was marketed for people of color. So, it's it was a good find to find. I'm glad I, I did a search for it. I found it just by Googling trending skincare products. So I will continue to use this. It's something great to have in my arsenal. I mean, who doesn't want to look awake and brighter and fuller and glowy? I mean. So without further ado, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys all for the support that you give me. It means so much to me as a small YouTuber that I still have the support of old and new. You guys are amazing and I want to thank you so much for being there and sticking with me and interacting with me and all that good stuff. Of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Also give this video a like and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video whenever I post. And with that being said, stay beautiful and I hope to see you soon. Bye.